morning and welcome again to our thought for the day. What another great thought we have, how good God is to us as we look into his word each and every day. The heading that I want to give to my thought this morning is simply this, the God that goes before us is the God that cannot fail us. The God that goes before us is the God that cannot fail us. And this morning we're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 8. I want you to listen to these wonderful words. I want them to sink into your heart and into your mind. It says this, The Lord, he it is that goeth before thee. He, no one else, he himself, he will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Now that's a wonderful promise for each and every one of us, but it may be that someone this morning has a problem to face today, is a, a, a fear that is haunting them. I want to tell you, friends, he will not fail you. He will not fail you. will prove him this very day. Because he goes before us, because he is with us, because he will not fail us, because he will not forsake us, we have no need to fear. We have no need to be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee. What a mighty God we serve. And today may your faith grow in his wonderful faithfulness. Oh God, help us each one of us today to grasp what you are telling us through your word. You see, if God himself goes before us, then it must be safe to follow. If we follow in the footprints of Christ, all is going to be well. Who can obstruct, obstruct our progress when he leads us forth? Satan himself is defeated because of the shed blood of Jesus. We are cleansed and covered by the shed blood of Jesus. Our victory is found in and through the shed blood of Jesus. And I encourage each one that is listening today to experience the power of the shed blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, help us, each and every one who loves Christ, to, get, to be covered with his precious blood, to trust in that precious blood, to never stop experiencing and talking about the precious blood of Jesus. You see, it is time to advance out of the battle and to receive the great victory that is yours and mine in Christ. But the wonderful truth is that he not only goes before us, but he is above us, he is beneath us, he is round about us, and he cannot leave us and he cannot forsake us because he is the omnipotent, omnipresent one in time and throughout all eternity and because he goes before us he is with us he will never withdraw his help from us he is the unfailing ever faithful one and he is both able and willing to grant strength and to encourage us until our fighting days are over remember friends that as thy days so shall thy strength be let us never fear or be dismayed for the lord thy god is with thee. You see, he it is that goes before us in the battle and has already won the victory through Christ Jesus, who shed his blood on Calvary. Let's enjoy the victory together today. Let us go out this day and put on, as the word of God says, the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you, have you decided what you're going to wear this morning yet? Have you got your designer clothes out? Can I tell you, friend, we need to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no designer name greater. He was the one that designed and formed this world and made you and made me. And when we put on Christ, I tell you, friends, we will be noticed. Well, we, people will see the image of Christ in our lives. Trust him today. Prove him today. And may the Lord excite you by his word in all that he has said and all that he will do. Look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning, the same time, the same place.